a trip to Wales. The trip starts in Ser Leon, which was an ancient Roman fortress which had an uh, amphitheater, which we can see here in the film. We are now approaching the amphitheater, which is the only one fully excavated in Britain. So now we get a view of the arena. The actors in these schemes are from Cardiff Museum. They were historical costumes and they display fightings and training of gladiators and legionaries as it had been in ancient times. So now we are entering the arena and there we go. closer We are now looking around the arena, the walls and the main entrance and we are now ready to depart. Around the edge, up the stairs.
and let's have a look back to the fighters. get an introduction to the ancient times of Sierra Leone, which had a fortress, Roman baths, and quite extended amenities. The ordinary soldier must have looked forward to turning his unit for bath day. Inside the bathhouse, there were various choices of bathing and sauna-like activities. But generally, he would first strip and oil himself. Then he would exercise, either in the outside palaestra, or indoors in the basilica, to work up a sweat. After that, he would scrape off the oil and dirt with a stridger, and maybe plunge into the open-air swimming pool before going into the bathhouse. Here there was a suite of three bath halls with changing rooms attached. First came the cold room of Frigidario, where after a cold dip, the soldier might again anoint his body with oil. He would then pass into the warm room, the Tepidario, where he might sit for a while. Then, for a real sauna like atmosphere, the caldario, or hot room, would open the pores of the skin. This mix of modern-day gym and leisure center can be recognized in a letter written by the Roman writer Seneca in the first century AD. I live over a bathing establishment. Just imagine all the daily uproar. Toughs are put through their paces, swinging heavy dumbbells about. I hear their grunts and gasps every time they expel their treasured breath. Then some idle person, content with an ordinary oil massage, forces himself on my notice. Up comes the slap of the Messrs. Hammer, pummeling his shoulder. Its sound changing according to whether it's cut or flat. If the umpire of the ball game puts in an appearance and starts to count the tosses, it's all over. The picture is not complete without some raw laugh, a thief caught in the act, or a man who loves the sound of his own voice in the mouth. Not to mention those who insist on jumping in with a mighty splash. Imagine the hair plucker continually advertising his presence, never quiet except when plucking somebody's armpits and making the customer yell for him. Or the assorted cries of the pastry cook, the sausage seller, the confectioner, all the hawkers of refreshment selling their wares, each in his distinctive sing song. Mm -hmm. The Romans are well known for the strength and durability of their public buildings. This bathhouse at Carleon was no exception. It was laid out to a very carefully devised geometric plan and stood virtually complete for 12 centuries before it was finally demolished. Testimony to the skill of its Roman architect. From excavation and from comparison with other Roman baths, it is clear that the bath halls here were originally vaulted. Indeed, it was the need to support